World Cup spectators will come and go, and yet their rubbish will stay behind. More than 260 tons of rubbish from outside the World Cup stadium will be recycled. Thanks to Pick It Up, it will not end up in Johannesburg's landfill sites. One of the best ways of reducing the, way, the waste that is going to the landfill is by encouraging recycling. What happens to the rubbish outside the stadium? We've got people that we see wearing uh, orange overalls. They'll be standing next to a number of bins. There will be a bin for cans, a bin for paper and all that. When that particular bin is filled, there's plastics inside that bin. They will take that plastic and they will wrap it. And we know that this particular plastic has got <clears throat> paper. This one has got bottles. Those plastics will then be taken and it will be loaded onto a truck. It will be taken to what we call a buyback center or a material recycling facility. When it gets to a buyback center or a material recycling facility, that paper will be sorted. Clean paper will then be put aside and it will be stacked nicely. And then whoever produces paper, Mondi or whoever, will be called to say, we've got stock, come and buy from us. And then Mondi would go and buy them. Teams would be taken, compressed as well and then whoever produces teams will be called and then they come and buy it from the buyback center. But the primary objective is to make sure that we recycle that waste that is not supposed to be going to landfill. Plastic is not supposed to go to the landfill. Bottles are not supposed to go to the landfill. Paper is not supposed to go to the landfill. If you can recycle it, then take it for recycling. But there is much to be done. By 2012, 15% of the waste produced in Johannesburg um, has to be recycled. Now, if you're talking 15%, we're talking 15% of 1.6 million tons of waste that we're producing. We are at 7% now. We're still very far from achieving that particular target. 